are ready. Uh, hi, my name is Karen Trotter, and today I will be discussing democracy and its effects on individualism in America. So the question, how has democracy in America been affected, or how has democracy in America affected individualism and natural born citizens, naturalized citizens, and in those seeking citizenship? So how exactly are democracy and individualism connected? Public policy think tank Hoover Institution stated that <clears throat> our very form of government is the product of individualism and that <clears throat> individual, individualism has been the primary force of American civilization for the past three centuries. The U.S. Senate Constitution page on the U.S. The, the US Senate Constitution page also states that the government of the United States exists to serve its citizens. This connection is furthered by French political philosopher Alexis de Tocqueville, who states that amongst democratic nations, all citizens are independent. This independence is a driving factor of American individualism. Tocqueville also states that associations of thousands of other kinds, such as religious, moral, serious, feudal, extensive, or restrictive, are also apparent in American society which is something I will discuss later. So first, natural born citizens. Being born in the United States grants automatic citizenship. Citizens of the United States are granted every constitutional right listed in the Constitution. All natural born citizens can also be elected to any political position, with few exceptions, such as age or criminal background. Being born in the United States also surrounds one with a familiar American culture, which therefore makes one more comfortable expressing their individual identities. Our identities start being shaped from birth, which allows one, which allows natural born United States citizens the greatest opportunity for individualism in America. Next, naturalized citizens. As compared to natural born citizens, naturalized citizens are also granted every constitutional right listed in the Constitution. They are allowed to hold political jobs, but many of these jobs invo involving politics require a minimum amount of citizenship. Naturalized citizens cannot be the president or the vice president. Psychiatrists Dinesh Brugra and Matthew Baker state that in seeking citizenship through the process of naturalization, many go through a loss of language, attitudes, values, social structures, and support networks. The namesake, written by Junpa Lahiri, is a story about an immigrant named Gogol's identity. While his family seemed to continue to hold the native values, uh, Gogol seemed to be shaping to the American culture. An example of this in the story was while Gogol's parents continued to speak to him in their native language, Gogol responded to them in the English language. As it can be seen, Immigration can cause people to lose some values, but while that is true, America allows for an infinite amount of ideological associations which furthers individualism in its citizens. While natural born and naturalized citizens are allotted all constitutional rights, the only rights that are granted to non-citizens are listed in the Bill of Rights. Non-citizens are not given the right to vote, they cannot work without authorization from the government, and they cannot be elected to any official positions. As compared to naturalized citizens, those seeking citizenship can also uh, lose many parts of their individual identities. Those who migrate have to adjust to a new culture, which results in a change of identity and concept of self. Whether or not immigrants' loss of individualism is inevitable or not is up for question, but there is no doubt that and seeking citizenship in the United States, immigrants face immigrants are at risk of facing the loss of individuals. Uh, possible solutions to combat this loss of individual, individualism would be to make the natural naturalization process easier by increasing its accessibility as well as decreasing the time it takes to become a naturalized citizen, which right now on average is around 15 months. We could also increase funding to immigration agencies, which would project the voices of immigrants as well as giving them more political representation in American government. Finally, 
We could provide safe spaces at immigration at uh, common immigration sites, which would look something like providing spaces for immigrants that would allot them sufficient needs as they are seeking citizenship in America. These solutions hold a common thread of a lack of resources and political hindrances. Funding, adding governmental services, as well as uh, changing the process of naturalization are all things that would have to go through a very long governmental process, which, re which could result in no change at all. In conclusion, while some immigrants may face a loss of individualism while going through the process of naturalization, America does allow for the greatest amount of opportunity for individualism in its citizens. We can work to help alter this loss of individualism by changing the naturalization process, increasing funding to immigration agencies, as well as providing safe spaces for immigrants to stay while they are going through the process of naturalization. Um, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the research process? Uh, well, originally I knew that I would want to uh, research how different government types affected individualism in its citizens. And so I started to look at more than just one. So I looked at democracy, uh, communist governments, monarchies, and governments of that sort. And I found that uh, researching more than one would be uh, very broad, and so I had to narrow it down to just democracy. And so, from deciding to choose democracy, I decided to uh, pick th the three spe specific demographic groups being uh, natural born citizens, naturalized citizens, and those seeking citizenship. Okay. Uh, what are the implications of your findings to your community? Uh, well, I think uh, Americans as a whole tend to define what an American looks like, so they maybe, let's just for example say that their idea of an American citizen is a white male who speaks English. So coming from a different country, having brown skin or not speaking English, uh, this shape that we create for uh, American citizens can also decrease the individualism in these citizens by making them less comfortable coming to America, which is, uh, I think, an implication that is found in the art community. All right. Good job.